the event loop will hand off the response to the uh, request corresponding request so that is how the uh, event loop works mm, okay okay do you know what are the child process in node js yeah so so node js so uh, it's a single process right uh, node js whenever we start a node js so if you want to do something uh, let's say i i need to call some command line operation some some command line program right or some go program if i have the binary so to make that we need to fork the code process so there are apis like uh, to fork the child process and then execute that uh, program in that process and once it once it completes then get the result back so for this we can use the uh, this child processes mm okay uh, give me one second right the uh do you know what is the difference between put and patch in the context of rest apis uh put i have used so put is uh, used for the you know updating so for example if post is used for creation of the resource mm -hmm. put is used for updating patch i haven't used but i guess patch is to diff if we send the diff then to update that diff but i am not sure about patch what do you mean by the diff so uh, so let's say i have a record right and only the some some record, some data is changed like only two fields out of 10 fields so maybe we can send that on the uh, patch just those two fields so that on server we will understand that only these two needs to be updated hmm. but okay this is my guess yeah. okay do you know what is the options method in context of rest what? api options method in context of rest api in context of rest api what are what what is the options method in context of the rest api right 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 so options are typically used to check if the course uh, is allowed cross requests are allowed for the domain so from the browser browser will trigger the options uh, request first to the server to check whether this um, domain right is allowed on the server if it allow if it is allowed then afterwards it will make the let's say post request or the put request so okay then what is the use of this and uh, who who initiate this request do you know about it yeah so so this is used when we are do doing the uh, mm -hmm. cross domain requests for example our server let's say our website is xyz.com mm -hmm. right right and we are making request to abc.com server so this is the different domains right so that time browser uh, sends the options request to the abc.com server to see if abc.com is allowing the course request from xyz.com so you mean to say that uh, browser initiating this uh, request uh, with the options method right if the domains are different yes yes okay so let's say the domain is same okay let's say hmm. this is the abc.com the node server is running on the port 3000 and the react react is running on the port 5000 okay and the domain is same it's abc.com okay 
सो सो विल दी कोर्स इम्पैक्ट ऑल्सो हैपन और इट विल इट विल नॉट नॉट हैपन इन दैट केस इफ द डोमेन इज सेम बट द पोर्ट इज डिफरेंट मीन्स नोड इज रनिंग ऑन द डिफरेंट पोर्ट एंड द रिएक्ट और एंगुलर इज रनिंग ऑन द डिफरेंट पोर्ट सो विल दिस अकर think this will occur in that case also uh, but i am not sure about the ports different ports mm -hmm. but uh, i think it will happen only for sub domains it may not happen but different ports it will happen i think hmm okay okay fine so how do you connect node js with the databases like postgres or the mongodb yeah so so when we um, so when we use the db uh, sorry driver libraries right whatever driver libraries uh, that we are making so that time we need to give the all the connection string right uh, the port on which the database is uh, running so to that uh, driver uh, libraries and then they will connect Okay, so for connecting Node to Postgres, which package I will use? So PG is the package one package. Uh, I mean, which is the basic one. Mm -hmm. So, but sometimes if we are using the you know higher level packages like Nex, mm -hmm. Nex is there, right? Or SQLize is there. So those might include the PG. inbuilt mm -hmm. so then we can open text or sequelize uh, or files like if you are your times like type orm is there or prisma orm is there so to those orms they expose the apis and there we can do the these mm -hmm. connection strings uh okay okay fine so like on the if you talk about the node js security okay so what do you think like what are the security concern and uh, what security implementation we can do for our uh, node application right so security concern uh, i mean so some or uh, uh, denial of service attacks can happen like lots of request can come and uh, or else like regex you know regex attacks can happen so in that case we can include the some recommended uh, methods like so there is one um, middleware uh, called as helmet so what helmet does is it basically has various strategies for various kinds of attacks we need to enable them for example for denial of service we can tell to that uh, helmet uh, middleware that if there are greater than these many request per second then you know basically either deny them or send the slow response like do not respond immediately so that you know our server does not get overwhelmed so these kind of uh, things are there okay so what do you think like uh, as you said the helmet uh, if the request if more request are coming in the same time frequency okay so how it's hmm. holding those request so what helmet does internally uh, is that basically it counts if the request per second are more for the particular resource like for particular apis and if it is more than whatever we have configured right let's say mm -hmm. for strategies like we need to define those strategies uh, in the beginning itself like whether to cancel those request like do not accept any request or like you know response slowly etc 
ओके फाइन ओके ओके एंड लेट्स से यू डेवलप सम रेस्ट ए पी आई इन द नोट जीएस राइट एंड देन एट द एंड ऑफ द डे वी फाउंड दैट द ए पी आई रिस्पॉन्स इज स्लो राइट मीन्स इट्स टेकिंग ट्वेंटी टू थर्टी सेकेंड्स ओके सो वट आई वॉन्ट आई डोंट टू आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू वेट फॉर द थर्टी सेकेंड्स आई वॉन्ट द रिजल्ट फास्टर सो वट आर द वे ऑफ द डिबिंग एंड फाइंडिंग और फिगरिंग इट आउट दैट वट फिक्सेस वी कैन मेक और वट आर द एरियाज विच वी कैन चेक क्विकली yes so so we need to log log things so for example in the middleware uh, we can say like you know how much what is the incoming request and outgoing response right so what is how many what time it is taking so we will get to know from there so again so from this we will get the overall uh, request uh, time but inside we need to go like if it is taking the call in the db query or if we are making call to some external uh, api right and that is taking query uh, time so we need to log those details inside our uh, logging so from that we can find out mm. okay okay fine so in this teams call there is a chat option okay i am just sending you one question which is uh, related to the database query okay so are you able to see it can you click on the chat icon yes yes i can mm yes so let me explain you that what it is so user underscore profile is the table name and uh, there are two columns one is id and another one is gender so id is a primary key and auto incremented field so it is holding 1 2 3 and gender is a simple varchar field so it is holding the gender values like male female male female okay so there can be thousand of records in this table right now i just put it only three records as the example set okay so what i want i want to update all the male to female and i want to update all the female to male okay so basically i am i am doing the sex conversion right gender conversion right so yes. so can you write down a uh, query for it by considering okay. that there can be thousand of records in this table so for example the first record so first record is uh, one so one will remain okay. same then the value is male mm. so male will become female similarly the id is second the second will remain same then the value is female so female will become male and then similarly for the other records okay 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 just one second so i am thank you Uh, you can start with the query like update then space user profile then set gender then equal to then dash 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 you have to fill it out
so uh, I'm just sending you. Of course, uh, this is just the uh, I mean the thinking like the, mm -hmm. the syntax syntax will not be exactly correct, but but we need to make it in one query itself because we cannot fire the uh, one after another because if we make a mm -hmm. female to male right so then afterwards everything will be male so we need to do this in one query itself but i need to check if we can mm -hmm. update the uh, multiple times so we might need to use the nested queries uh, so like here uh, if you are using two where so i think this is the wrong query can you think about yeah, like so if else condition like simple if and else uh, right okay i think they mm -hmm. okay so i think so ternary operators are uh, allowed in uh, sql so I think something, some ternary operation. Are you typing something? Mm, if there is something in your mind, you can type it. Syntax is uh, you need to check. <laughs> okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, fine. So, thanks for your time, uh, Nikhil. So, HR will update you about your feedback.